This video is about simple interest and tips and goes along with CPM Chapter 9, Section 2, Lesson 4. In this lesson, we're really just looking at real-world applications of the percents that we have been going over for the past uh, week or so. So let's look at this problem. Jack's went out to dinner with his friends. If their bill is $27 and they wanted to leave an 18% tip, how much would they pay? Remember to start with your three-word sentence, and from there, you should be able to calculate exactly how much they solved. So take a moment and do that. So first thing to do, start with your three-word sentence, 18% of $27. And we're going to rewrite that as 18 hundredths times 27. And then we can solve the math, which gives us $4.86 as the tip. Okay, And this says, how much would they pay? It doesn't ask how much is the tip, but how much would they pay? So then what we need to do is we need to take the tip amount and add that to the total amount for the dinner which is $27, adding $4.86, which gives you $31.86 total. Okay, And we are assuming that tax is already built in here, um, ignoring the argument of do you tip pre or post tax. Okay, Again, two potential questions here. How much is the tip, and how much is it total with tip? So make sure that you're paying attention to the wording here. Let's try another one. Tyler had some savings to put in a bank. If the bank offered 6.2% interest over one year, how much would he have at the end of the year if he deposited $750? Okay, um, We're not going to get into compounding interest right now. This is super simple interest at one year's time. Okay, Use the same idea as we did for the last problem and go from there. Okay, start with your three-word sentence, 6.2% of $750. Change your 6.2% to a decimal. Make sure that it is actually 6.2% and not 62%. Okay, that makes a difference. Times 750, and when you multiply it out, you get $46.50 as the interest. Remember to pay attention to the question, how much would you have at the end of the year? Okay, so you have your $750 plus your interest which gives you $796.50. Another way you could look at this is we're starting with our 100% and we're adding 6.2%, where 100% is your initial $750 and the 6.2% is the interest. And if we add those together, you get 106 and 2 tenths of a percent which you could actually combine this process into one step where then you would have 106 and 2 tenths of a percent of $750 and when you multiply that out you would still end up with $796.50 um, but either way works. Uh, this way it's one step, this way it breaks it down into two steps um, choose whichever one's easier for you.